In this video, I'll show you how to add a new user account to Windows 11 and that can be an online account and an offline account as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And make sure you watch this video right until the end and let's get into this. So the first thing you need to do to go and add another account is to go and open up your Windows settings. So all you need to do is come down to your taskbar and go and tap on the start button just like so, and then go and press on settings. If you can't see settings in the apps, then all you need to do is go and search in this bar here for settings and go and open it up and here we are. Then all you want to do is come to the left hand side menu here and you need to go and tap on accounts. And once you're on accounts, you're going to go and see a lot of different options. You need to go and click on family and other users down here, just like so. And as you can see, we've got a few options here, but you want to come down to other users where it says add other user. And in this guide, I'll show you how to add offline users like local users and also online users as well. So all you want to do is go and press add account and then it's going to go and get this Microsoft account pop up here. Um, so in this case, I want to go and add an offline account. Um, so if you know the person, then go and start their sign in process um, go and use their email. However, I don't have this person sign information. If you do, go and use it, but I don't. Um, and then it's going to give you another option where you can go and create the Microsoft account or they create a Microsoft account. Once again, I don't want this, so I'm going to go and click add a user without a Microsoft account. And then you can go and create an offline account. So all you want to do is type in a username. So I'm going to go and type in example, and then I'm going to go and type a password as well. I've now made a password and entered some security questions, and then you want to go and press next. And there we go. We've now gone and created this new user. And if you go click on this downwards arrow here, you can also go and change their account type and even remove their account as well. So now when you go and sign out of Windows and sign back in, you're going to see another option for this new account you just made. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing. Peace.